Now we jump straight into what is known as the biggest second-hand clothing avenue in the country called Ghana. With only two cities, you're able to acquire designer outfits. How does that work? There are issues flowing from the conversation and the documentary Humans of Cantamato put together by Porsche Gabo. But first, take a look at this. Papa driver for me called Cantamanto. My name is Frida Jenfi. I started the second hand clothing business six years ago. Today I'm going to Cantamanto to buy clothes for the business. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 Selection <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Kakrampo gusu ya dibenu mpia watani ya di. Tiu tu mimi si yaku yenimpa. From our database, we have currently about them. We have forty-five taxpayers paying their taxes from Cantonment to to this tax office. Uh, out of the forty-five, we have five of them that are not active. So, if it them, we have 40 taxpayers who are actively in taxes here. Well, they've been contributing um, 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 to the economy in terms of um, revenues that we collect from them. Uh, when they bring in the goods at the port, they pay duties and taxes on the goods, and then they have to contribute to the revenue kitty. And for my records available at the office, um, for the year 2017, they were, uh, from our checks, uh, they contributed the total amount of a little over two million to a revenue kitty. And then for the year 2018, they contributed a total amount of 3.5 million. 
And a special good morning to you, Bernard Kelvin Clive, your author and a coach. Uh, you're enjoying the show. And also to you, Uncle Tommy Annan Fossin. Good morning. Now, let's have a conversation with the chairman and treasurer of the Cantabanto uh, Use Clothes Association and uh, the sellers. And Nana Osai and Sa Ejekumwa is the treasurer, and Evan Selfurieta is the chairman. Welcome, lady and gentlemen. How are you doing? Yeah, Great. I'm good. The, the sea of clothing we saw at Cantamanto is a savior to many. That's what uh, people have said. But how does the business, uh, or has the business faring uh, in this present day? You want to take it, madam? Okay, uh, chairman first. Okay, I hear you. Chairman, well, uh, how's the business doing? Uh, we are doing great. Uh, first of all, let me greet my people with our slogan. We say, Obroni well, he mm -hmm. said, Abu Amai. That's uh, use clothes is helping the nation. Obroni well, that's the, the white man is dead <laughs> and is helping us. Yes, please. That makes us a land of castaways and leftovers. Uh, normally, uh, it means like that because uh, when it becomes a uh, business in Ghana, those who started, mm. uh, they told us when the person that they remove all their uh, properties and so they will build and bring it back to Africa. Okay. But nowadays it's not like that because I have a um, storage jet and also new item that they will use together. Mm. That's why I say Obrunu. Oh, but the name has been there okay. forever. So where do you source your clothes from, your wares? Um, UK, uh, China, and then Canada or other parts of the world. I yeah. see. Interesting. Yeah. Let's look at the co uh, contribution to the economy. Yeah. Because you sell clothes as low as two CDs, one CD, and sometimes even 50 pesos if you're if you're hard enough to do the negotiation well. Yeah. How does it contribute to the economy, Madam Treasurer? First of all, I would like to take this platform to greet all the members of Cantamanto. We are grateful to them. It has really helped us a lot mm. because the prices of the goods it's a bit lower. Mm. When you come to Cantabant, you get a cloth, five cities, two cities. You have two cities, you get some. Mm. Five cities, you get. So it, is, it has really helped us. Mm. In, I'm talking about in terms of the economy. When you pay, uh, you pay taxes, I'm sure. Yes. Okay. So how much, if you're quantifying, do you know what the Ghana Revenue Authority collects from you every a, year, for example? A lot. Because we have the importers. They import the goods into the country, mm. and we go and buy the goods, mm. open and sell. Mm. They pay taxes to the government, import duties mm. to the government, and we selling the clothes to, we pay duties to. Um, we pay GRA, okay. we pay AMA mm. to the government. Mm. So it is really helping the government a do, lot. do I take it that you both are wearing things from Cantamanto? Yes. You're wearing your stuff from Cantamanto. Yes. All these fine clothes. All these yes. fine clothes are from Cantamanto. Wow. And so how much does it cost, for example, to have a suit and a nice shirt like this, uh, Ms. Oforieta? Yeah, as I said, it depends on the quality. So uh, yours, what you're wearing now? Uh, mine, sometimes we see the price is lower, but we have selection, the best ones, and then other touches. So this one, this is fair selection, I, um, I guess. How much did it cost you to oh, wear maybe, up maybe, and down? Maybe 100 Ghana cities. 100 Ghana cities yes, will get you. Madam, yours? My own, they just, I bought it 30 Ghana. 30 Ghana. And the top, 15 Ghana. 15 Ghana yeah. and 30 Ghana. Mm -hmm. Now, there are conversations about how the CD fluctuates against major trading currencies and how it affects your business. Tell me about it. You, you feel it so you know it more. How do, how do, how do you contend with that? Well, uh, based on the foreign exchange, we are suffering from our business because mm. every now and then there will be increase on our, um, the price of the bill. Mm. And it is not helping the business nowadays because we are losing our monies. If you buy a bill of, uh, let's say, 800 Ghana cities, the next time you go, it will be 900. So if you don't have enough money to add together, mm. and our business either profit or loss. Mm. So... It depends on the quality of the goods. Okay. If you are lucky, you get the best ones, then you are going for it. Mm. If you are not lucky, you lose maybe 200 guys on a bay. So mm. it's not a, um, helping the business now. I see. So we are suffering. And that's so why. What would be the appeal to government? We have appealed several to them. What even, have you been saying to them that they uh, not Even uh, you heard from the benchmark uh, reduction. Mm. 
We, the sellers, are no benefit from it. How so? Because uh, on a, a duty of a, a 40 liter container, mm. uh, when I work, I check from the decks of the GRA, it's 30%. Mm. And if you work, it's about 12,000 Ghana cities. Okay. And every day, they are increasing the price. Instead of them to reduce, uh, let's say, if a, a hundred, um, 800 Ghana cities, they can reduce for 500, uh, 50 Ghana cities. Mm. That will flat on our business. But okay. no. Every now and then, they are increasing the price. Mm -hmm. So now, if you don't have money, you can't do this business. You can't do this business. Yes. But now, so the health implications, uh, people are selling used boxer shorts, used panties, used brassiers, and even the shirts, bed spread, and all of that. People have raised key concerns about it, that it is not good for us. Our people deserve to use first-hand clothes as well. What do you say? OK. First-hand, second-hand clothing is very good, because when they are when they are bailing the goose, they used to put fumigene in the clothes before okay. they bail it. Okay. So that in case that's what gives you the fragrance. We yes. Okay. So that when you put it on, you won't get any sickness from it. Mm. So they fumigate it before they bring it to us, including the underwears everything. and everything. But but the health authorities say no used underwears, and and yet we have them on the market. What, 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 let me come in mm. because um, they are secondhand clothing. But before the government came there, we have to see those goods. We have not been bringing it, but they went to the warehouse for the uh, storage. Mm. So if you see in the market, it's not a used clothes. It's a storage, and then they build it together. OK. Yeah. So they are not bringing you used clothes no, no, anymore. No, no. Whatever we have at Cantamanto is store rejected yes. clothes. OK. That's what the woman said. You can see the. Um, the badge on the uh, mm. Disney, so. Okay. Madam, well, you have a closing thoughts. What will be your final say? The big men are watching. What would you say to them? Okay. I, I want to appeal to the government mm. to come to our aid. Because now, when you go to the roadside of Cantamanto, mm. it's full of market people right. selling all over the place. So we that are in, inside the market, mm. people are not vendoring our goods. Okay. So we appeal to the government, we appeal to AMA boss to come to our aid. Uh, have you had a conversation with those a on the lot. streets? No, but we've been having conversation with mm. AMA boss. Mm. So I will take this platform to appeal to them to come to our aid. Okay. Because we are really suffering in the market. Thank you very much. You're That's uh, the voice of Nana Osai and Sa Ejekuma. She is the treasurer of the Used Clothes Sellers Association at Cantamante and also Evan Soforiata is the chairman of the same association. They will join me here to have a conversation uh, on the documentary put together by TV3's Porsche Gabo titled Humans of Cantamante.